Hey y'all, I'm Kristen Vining with the Vining Group of Keller Williams. Thanks so much for joining us and welcome back to Fort Mill, South Carolina, a quaint, cute little suburb of Charlotte, North Carolina. In our last segment, Ken and I chit-chatted a little bit about why Fort Mill. We talked about places to go, things to see, and we talked about the number one driving force behind why people move to Fort Mill, and that's the schools. And that's exactly what we're gonna talk about today, the schools, and this little thing called an impact fee. So what are impact fees? What are they used for? I know, boring, 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 but let's see if we can make a little bit of fun out of this. Hang on until the end, because I'm gonna share some unexpected news that you probably didn't know about impact fees. Fort Mill is one of the fastest growing districts in the state of South Carolina. And year after year, our students, our teachers, our faculty, both from an academic and an athletic standpoint, are champions. It's an amazing community to live in. A large percentage of people move to Fort Mill because of the schools. And for that reason, it's left the district in a little bit of a pickle. They need more schools. Earlier this year, I had the distinct pleasure to serve as one of the co-chairs on the bond referendum committee. Excitedly, 71% of the community voted in favor. What a statement. But what does all this mean? In a nutshell, it means that we the people have given the district permission to take out a loan. Kind of like a mortgage. Pretty simple, right? But how does it get paid back? Who better to talk about impact fees than Chairwoman Christy Spears and former Chair Patrick White of the Fort Mill School District. Christy and Patrick, thank you guys both so much for being here today. Christy, let's start with you. What is an impact fee? How does it work? And how did the district arrive at the number? So up until now, whenever we've had to build new schools to accommodate the growth in population, we've had to pass that on to our existing residents and businesses through tax increases. And they've been very vocal with us that they'd like to find a way for new growth to pay for growth. Mm -hmm. That is made possible now by a change in the legislation in 2016 for impact fees. An impact fee will essentially pay the cost of the growth on, by the new developments. We've worked with a national expert to understand what the true impact is of new development, and it amounts to just under $19,000 for a single family home. It's less for multifamily, and then age or deed restricted are actually exempt since they don't add new students into the district. That is awesome to know. Thanks for sharing that, Christy. So Patrick, who pays for these impact fees and when are they paid? Impact fees are paid by the builder at the time that they pull the permit from York County. Mm -hmm. The fee becomes an associated cost that's rolled into the total cost of the mortgage that the homeowner will pay over the life of the loan. Mm -hmm. Most folks in the district don't even realize they've been paying fees since 1996. We're just asking for an increase to that fee. Really, that's great to know. Christy, what does that mean specifically to the current residents and those considering moving into Fort Mill? Well, depending on the amount of the fee that the county council passes, um, our existing residents and businesses should see a material decrease in their debt services tax that we collect currently today. New residents, as Patrick mentioned, will, will see that as a part of their overall cost of home when they're purchasing a new home, and that'll be part of their purchase decision. You know, we're extremely proud of our community and of our school district, and we think there's some of the reasons that people are moving here, and that's part of the decision, location, location, location. You're absolutely right, Christy. So Patrick, who approves these amounts, and is there anything that we as private citizens can do to help? The York County Council is the governing body that will approve this ordinance, and they will have three readings at their meetings in May, June, and July. There are two things that we need our citizens to do. First, we need them to email all seven members of the County Council and let them know that they believe that growth should pay for growth. Mm -hmm. And then second, we need everybody to come out to the public hearing that'll be at Nation Forward on June 27th. Okay. This has the opportunity to reduce our taxes by 54%, and we think that's an action that the county council should take because it's good for all of us. Hold on, 54%, did I hear that correct? You got it, Kristen. That's absolutely amazing. Thank you both so much for being here today. Thank you for all that you do for our community and for our children. We will definitely pay attention to what's happening on June 27th, make sure that we do everything that we can to bring maximum exposure to it because our voices do matter. Thank you guys again. Amazing, 54% reduction in taxes. You gotta love that. Fort Mill is a community filled with spirit, life, and culture. It is a fantastic place to plant those seeds and watch them grow. For more information on the impact fees, please be sure to visit our website. Until then, back to you guys in sunny San Diego.